about 22 or 3 years old, a friend of mine and I bid on uh, some piers at Fort Mason. But a year later, the president of Toyota, then a very small company, startup with Corollas, asked if we could put their ship over there. The first ship came into Fort Mason with 200 Toyotas in 1960-ish. And that was the beginning of our terminal and uh, our maritime group. Ultimately, our own uh, ambition turned into reality when we built the Jean Ann, named after my mother. And uh, we're looking at adding to our fleet in the future. Welcome, George Three and Janet Marie, to the Pisha Hawaii fleet. experience of coming on board is the moment when you come to realize you know, the significance of what the new ship is. We were set to leave Long Beach and as you go up the ladder well, you know, you go through the different decks and then you arrive in the wheelhouse, the bridge of the vessel. I had good appreciation for what it was going to do until you actually have the controls and see what it does. That's when you get the rudder and get things moving, and that's when you learn your ship. The, the big advantage of this ship is uh, it was a proprietary design by Keppel Lamfels, so this is not an off-the-shelf design. It has a hull that was, uh, it's probably the most hydrodynamically efficient hull in the world today for a container ship. That hull went to Maritime Research Institute of the Netherlands, and they model tested it and designed an efficient propeller and an efficient rudder uh, to match that hull form. LNG, of course, is the best alternative fuel for high horsepower uh, industrial engines. Um, there was a lot of naysayers that uh, said it could not happen. Uh, and hopefully this is an example and more people adopt their cleaner fuel and see that it can be done. On the West Coast, to have that option of LNG is, is certainly a major distinction. But overall, it, this ship was a commitment to go and exceed where we were already. We're global. We have the shipping line Pesha Hawaii, uh, which uh, you all know, living out here in the islands, we're dependent upon ocean transportation for canned goods to uh, automobiles and construction equipment and supplies. And we've uh, carried rock crushers and buses and cranes and shipping helicopters. We're bringing a uh, hundred and some striker, which are small, look like tanks. So we're, we're very proud of the military involvement that we have. I think family was very important to my father. Obviously, he, he, he suffered some setbacks in his early days, but he, uh, he survived, and, and the hard work never hurt anyone. In fact, it builds character. Those were tough days during the Depression, and uh, I think I've learned that lesson from him, and I've been part of that, I hope, to my children. And so that is the reason for our success, I believe. More important is the employees of the company, which are family to us, and we hope to them. And so we're really a service organization. I think timing and hard work and honesty and integrity paid off. 
and ultimately we ended up with a very successful company.